There we go, the dude is dead. Hey everyone, and we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I am playing some Kodelka. And we finally killed that boss. It just took me a little while because I kept accidentally healing him. Okay, let's get some mind. You probably need that, right? Oh, Cody. Let's get some pie now. Have some pie, have some more pie. Everybody needs pie. Wow, you have leveled a lot. You need all of the pie. You need all of the mind. Have some pie, too. And also have some vitality while we're at it. <laughs> oh, I got a crossbow. Um. Somebody's equipped that. Uh, what am I not using? Well, I'm not using the pistol, so. <laughs> Never using the pistol. Never use the pistol. Yay, we got a save point. Save the game. What's better, the crossbow or the bow gun? Because they seem like the same thing. I'm not entirely clear on what the difference between the two is. So yay, we did the thing. Is that good? You know what, I've got this feeling there's something else I gotta do in here still. Chapel! Seriously, it seriously feels like there's something I'm supposed to do here. Um... No, I didn't mean to do that. Check, you do not remember I'm correct. No, go away. <laughs> What's that? I see a jar, but of what- Fine. Okay. I don't really think that it's in here that I need to do something. Hmm. Uh. Game? Did I just hit cutscene land? I did! Oh, the thingy opened. This must be the temple. There's no way! If I put a bullet through it, it wouldn't budge. What are we gonna do? How ironic to have made it this far and not have access to the temple. Kudelka. Well, there's probably Edward, some way to open it. You both must go now. Why? It's my friend that is apparently responsible for this disturbance, and therefore I am partially responsible for oh, this trouble. Oh, come on! I have no intention it, of asking for your sympathy, and I'm in no position to plead for your help. So from this point forward, I can manage on my own. Don't kid yourself. We didn't come along just for your sake. No, Kudoka, you should go back now. Ed It'll excuse be far too dangerous. you, Edward! Edward, you're the one who should go home. You were not meant for this world. Granted, you are a good fighter, having had plenty of experience. And I, I love it how you can actually make Edward a really good mage, either. too. <laughs> but when all is said and done, you are an average Joe. I am not. I was meant to exist I am a realm. mage, bitch. It's the only place I can carve out an existence for myself. Quit lecturing me! I want no part of a lukewarm existence filled with regret. No. My way is to not worry about consequences and to do whatever it is I want to do. <laughs> do what I want to do, but I want to do it. I like him. Life's a gamble, and once you place your bet, you'd better play to win, or else you end up dead. Edward, you really are ridiculous. That's what they tell me. <laughs> That's what they tell like. me. That I will. Oh, suddenly when you feel like it, you decide when you can and cannot open doors? Wait, there's a way. Remember Such when as? we were searching Patrick's mansion. There was various chemicals around. I oh, so that time, acid that I, I have. I can combine the chemicals to make nitroglycerin. Nitroglycerin? That's great! Dynamite! <laughs> kind of like dynamite! <laughs> For this door, I think we'll need a full flask. Indeed, I've got some acid. If I drop the flask before I return, I'll be knocking on heaven's door in a flash. Badumtish. <laughs> I've already got the acid, so we can just do this. We can just do this shizzle, right? And it is done. The bell invites me. Hear it not, Duncan, for it is a knell that summons thee to Either heaven, to heaven or, hell. or to hell. Oh, isn't that? I don't know. It summons thee to heaven or to hell. Isn't that Romeo and Juliet? Maybe. Only like that. Great. Please insert disc four. Okay, let's do this thing. Let's hope that I don't destroy the PlayStation Two on accident in the process. Cause my poor, poor star- Oh god, the discs have fallen! Discs on the floor! Discs on the floor! Okay. 
disc is no longer on the floor. There we go. Wait, what? Ah! Oh, wait, is it gone? Are we okay? Oh, thank God. Huh? Okay, then. Wait, what? No! Game? Don't you be doing this to me, game. I have yet to save. At least let me save on this disc. Uh, okay. So let's very quickly go up here and save. Because that seems like something that is of the good. So I can at least make sure I'm saved on the fourth disc. In case anything goes horribly, horribly wrong with my PlayStation 2 dying. Please don't die, Steiner. Please don't die. I need you. I need you to live. I need you to be alive. I shouldn't keep overwriting these over the same file, but I am. <laughs> that could be bad. Especially if any of the recordings bug up. But oh well. I've gotten this far. I'm already going to hell. I might as well take everything else down with me. Okay, we've got some acid. So let's use the thing. Let's do the thing. Um, game, I've, I've got the... I've got the acid. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay, since apparently it's not letting me just throw the acid at the door, let's, uh, first kill these guys. And secondly, um, I guess, uh... Oh, what a doubt, go talk to Bacon. Bacon knows. Bacon knows all. Might as well keep trying to get some of these up, so... Agility. Be agile. And it died. <laughs> I like killing things with my magic. It's not as good as spearing things on the tip of my pole. <coughs> Thank you, James. Can I attack from here? I can! Stab. I will never run out of health again. No! Game! PlayStation! Yes! Okay! It do that doesn't mean that the disc tray is open. That means that the motor stopped working for a second. <laughs> this is terrifying. It's a race against time to try and finish the game before the PlayStation 2 completely dies. <laughs> you keep trying to fortify your edge. Fortify your edge. It's not as good as your pie. Fortify your pie with vitamin C and niacin. Why not? Just put some niacin in there. I killed it. Did I kill it? I didn't kill it! How much health does that thing have? Oh, it's dead now, so it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> oh yeah, I leveled. I am level 40. I am level lots. That's what level I am. Um, let's get some more of these, yes. Step, step, step. Okay, with lack of anything else to do, let's go talk to Bacon. Bacon knows how to make a bomb. We're gonna make dynamite. I still find that absolutely hilarious. We're going to make dynamite. Can't get through the door? 
Well, if you remove the door, then there's no problem. Shouldn't be too hard to get to Bacon. As long as Bacon's actually in the same place, if not, I'm going to be doing this for a while. Bacon better be in the same place, or I'll fry him, and I'll become crispy bacon! I'm going to turn in a slideshow to glisten. Oh! Well, okay, then. Oh, this is a lab! I didn't even realize this was a lab! I'm going to begin my work. Can you two wait for me here? Okay. <laughs> oh no, they're drunk! <laughs> what happened to the girl, Melanie? <laughs> Why is this the, the worst morning. possible time to get she drunk? Practically everything in the room. <laughs> you don't have much to look Where did they get the alcohol? You. <laughs> well, you know what they say. The cleanest breakup is when a woman runs out on you. <laughs> oh, wow. Statement. <laughs> oh, but you're lucky. I mean, to have so many people to kid around with. For me, I'm all alone. I'm, I'm all alone. alone all, my life. all alone. What about your childhood? <laughs> yes, I did have a childhood. No, she didn't. I was born Die. in a small town in Wales, right off the banks of the Tulesian River. It was a small gypsy town. Gypsy? That's right. Gypsy. And we didn't call ourselves gypsy. We called ourselves Rom. <laughs> Rom See, or Roma. Yep. Gypsy is born under the blue sky Panty shot. and is destined to die under the same blue sky. It's gypsy law. It's so gypsy law. I guess <laughs> you plan on dying underneath the blue skies. Mm -mm. Every gypsy is given a name at birth. My given name was Slato. Slato. Mm -hmm. Slato. It's got a strange <laughs> resonance It's different name. than Cody. What does it mean? I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> that too must be part of the law. <laughs> <laughs> the law it is. <laughs> I can't. Oh, there's. I, yeah, I ship it so hard. Enigmatic, mysterious glint in your eyes. It must be the gypsy. Panties! In Seriously, that's the, that, that dress skirt thing is way Glance short, especially for the 1800s. Very late 1800s still. raise with hope, depress with fear. Byron again? Byron? Yeah. He reads Byron too? You must really like him, don't you? Yes. All of the so panty I shots. I feel as though we're birds of a feather. Then he must be self-obsessed as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Seriously, why are they getting drunk on the eve of the final battle? My father was a strict man. He couldn't forgive his son for failing academically. He blamed my failure on the time I wasted inventing adventures, dreaming of a utopian landscape. So he wanted to be an adventurer, his dad wanted him to be an academic. Dreams? The power of the imagination, as well as all the things I loved as a child, were useless. A complete waste of time. It was as if he was telling me I was useless. And then again, it may be just that. You know, I think I was probably born too late. By the time I was 15, so we're having just character development here, are we? Been done. The western territories were colonized. The jungles had been explored. There was no wilderness for me to wander into. Deep sea, dude. No it's all in the deep sea. To cut my way through. I guess that's how I ended up roaming the country. Well, granted. He's in a he's an American. How did he end up roaming the British like Isles? Gambled on my life a few times. But none of that comes close to the truth I'm searching for. I yearn for something far greater. I what, the Kodoka's continuous panty myself. shot there? Is that I what you're yearning for? <laughs> quest for some intangible treasure of sorts. 
Kadok, I envy you. You have psychic powers that few are blessed with. Being born a gypsy, you can choose to live how you wish. Probably not entirely. And who True. gave you the right to act as if you figured me out? And now they're going to start yelling at each other. any idea how I was raised? <laughs> you make me laugh. Adventures. Please, you haven't the slightest clue. Yep, and now it's time for angry drunks. Any idea <laughs> how much pain my psychic powers have brought me? My father died when I was only a child. I predicted the exact time, place, and ending of my father's life. Imagine that, predicting your own father's death. Hmm. You know, I was cursed as a child, being given powers not meant for a child. Yep, and that would mother, suck. Oh, she she was so frightened and so full of hatred for oh, me. Up phone. She tried to kill me with her very hands. Okay, that's fine. My fucked. gypsy elders got together and decided to excommunicate me. I was only nine then. Do you have any idea how a nine year old child survives without the help of a living soul? Treasures, you must be joking. Have yep. you ever angry cried drugs? And Maybe we should have taken the alcohol meal? away from them. Did you ever sell your body seeking shelter from the frigid night air? <laughs> I used to be just like Charlotte when she cried and said, No one has ever loved me. Oh, her words cut straight through me. It was me she was talking about. Just like her, I wish that everybody would die and harbor a hatred for all mankind. But you see, Charlotte has made her peace. And <laughs> gone heaven. And Kodelka doesn't get that. Me. I'm still alive and still Home alone. Oh, Cody! No one has ever lent a helping hand. No one. Kadoka, you. I and then she falls on them in sexy times. As you make me out to be. I Seriously, worst possible time to get drunk. Dirty, ignorant woman who threw her gypsy pride to the dogs in order to live. But you see, even someone like me can do good. Because with my power, <laughs> falls over, passes out. I can help ease the pain of others. That's when I feel good about living. I don't need to be loved. I just want my life to have some. He looks like he's looking up her skirt. <laughs> And I am horrible at commentating for this kind of scene. Tell me they need me. <laughs> you. <laughs> no way would <laughs> you ever understand. Passes out. <laughs> yep, passes out. <laughs> oh, Edward. Eddie Pooh. Well, that's a hell of an ending to a cutscene. It's done. And James it's is like, what the hell have you two been doing? Oh my god, this episode's almost over already. Wow. Okay, are, are we gonna get another cutscene? James is finished working in his night. You got nitroglycerin, yay! I thought I was supposed to go talk to Bacon. Never mind. Okay, guess we're onwards to blow up a door. Which makes me think we're going into the end of the game because the fourth disc is the last disc and it's pretty much the final boss fight. So we found out a lot about James, or James, found out a lot about Edward and Cody then. Um, 
croissants. <laughs> and all it takes is a little bit of alcohol to send Kodelka off the deep end, as we come to realize. I wonder what Edward was thinking about at that point. And I'm pretty sure it's like either then or slightly before that is the time when they fell in love. Because it's it's totally canon. The two of them together is absolutely canon. Oh, and once you play Shadow Hearts, you realize just how canon it is. <laughs> okay, let's save a game. Save, 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 save! And that is also going to be the end of this episode, because we're going into the final fight pretty soon, I think. I think? Anyway, my name is Miss Gartanager, and I have been playing some Kodelka. See you all in the next episode.